You see these big old belly? Look at this. I want you guys to see this, man. Look at this. Tell me that jig is not right. <laughs> He's like, yo. Okay. I want you guys to hear it. it, it, it you guys can hear this smack. I'm gonna show you guys what this little smacking sound does. their food this time. So I got my own special concoction that I made for my for my uh, for my little puppies. It's gonna be pretty good. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Now you see them sleeping Matt, come on follow me right quick. Um, you see them all sleeping here right now. I'm gonna go over with the balls while the balls are here too. These they are knocked out sleeping right now. They are out of it. I'm telling you they are sleeping. But watch how much they wake up when it comes time to feeding time comes. Now, these puppies are much older. Uh, of course, we have the other litter here as well too. That's a lot younger. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys that as well too, man. We're gonna get into it. So, I'm excited right now. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, we're gonna feed the pup. We're gonna feed the puppies um, some good food. Uh, it's my own concoction, like I said. So. Um, Let's just dive right into it, man. Let's get right to it. So watch you see these puppies gonna wake up like crazy. I'm gonna feel like a chef. So they are gonna go crazy for this food, man. I'm telling you, they're gonna go crazy for it. Uh, if you wanna do it that way, I'm gonna have them wake up a little bit. Here we go. If you guys have noticed, we have changed out our mats. We have changed out. Oh. Somebody got out. <laughs> Come here, pretty girl. Oh, we got some food going in. Instead of everybody sharing all the food, everybody's trying to go into one. They are smacking. Ah, you know, it's all the same thing, though, right? Guys? I want you guys to hear it. You guys can hear this smack. I'm gonna show you guys what this little smacking sound does. Hear it? Oh my God, they're just like, yo, feed me, feed me. So today, uh, right now, um, so what I could do is a lot of people ask me like, how do you get your dogs from not biting at your hand and doing all this kind of stuff? I usually start off like right now, this age, when they're puppies, and I get in the middle, like when they're in the middle of eating their food, like they're really excited about it and they really want this food, I still go in here and I just push them away, get them a little used to being touched, <coughs> get them used to just being bothered in the middle of them not wanting this, um, in the middle of them not wanting to be bothered, right? So, yeah. hey, don't, don't, don't leave food on the thing, man. So, but you definitely want a nice, clean environment with the puppies, because the puppies are gonna have food all over the place as well. Too. Now see, like this one here, just kind of part of the other one. I just want used to doing it, and I'll stop him while he's eating his food, right? So while he's eating his food, I'll stop him and bark. Let him know that wasn't good, so it's okay. And I'm not punishing them, like popping them or anything else. It's just getting them accustomed because it's natural for a dog to want to be, you know, uh, control of what they're eating is natural. So, but we want them to get used to having us being involved because some of you guys might have kids that kids are going to just pull up to them and they're going to just, you know, walk up to your dog and you don't want your dog to snap at your kids and all that kind of stuff, man. Um, but you want to teach your dogs and teach your kids to be involved with them. 
my kids come up there. You guys see my videos before. My kids come up to all my big dogs and they're feeding them and they're having a good old time as well. So see the ones over there, everybody. But sometimes I just want to hand all over all of them. Just getting them all used to make sure I don't, I'm not missing anybody. So you know they're really tearing this food up right now. So in doing tearing this food up, I'm still gonna come over here. Just make sure you're not missing nobody. You see these big old belly. Look at this. I want you guys to see this, man. Look at this. Tell me that jug is not right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo. Okay, I'm not gonna keep it from your food, man. You can get here. Look at that. See? Look. Now, making sure, the one of the biggest things you wanna make sure is your dog is actually eating in a clean area because puppies love the step. They're not thinking about cleanliness. That's your job as a breeder, as an owner, and all that kind of stuff as well. You wanna make sure that your puppies are not stepping in dirt, then coming back into the food and then eating that food and digesting that same uh, food that they just uh, got infected with bacteria and all that kind of stuff there. Um, and a lot of worms and stuff could be spread that way as well um, while having dirty, just dirty environment. So you wanna make sure it stays clean, you wanna make sure um, you're keeping just healthy standards for your dogs. Healthy environment, healthy dogs, better puppy, better results, right? These little, man, look at these little, I want you to see these little ones. Look, just look at the belly of this little. <laughs> oh my God, this is a little, this is brown collar. Man, it is full and tight. Tell the world, hey. Yeah, it's good? Okay. It's good, and we got a little brown, we got a black puppy down here. Okay, y'all cool? It's a lot of food, but. Man, just look at these. My hand is big and I'm trying to grab these jokers like this, man. These puppies are, are amazing. Um, and don't be discouraged if you have a puppy in the litter, man, that starts off one way. Just focus on that puppy. Make sure, well, focus on all your dogs, but sometimes your, your dog that may start off behind the other ones is gonna catch up, man, if you're feeding everybody right as well. Um, I did a video partially on what the runt is and what causes a runt. Um, Basically, it's just the last one to conceive out of all the other dogs, and it's the last to be developed in the, in the, in the womb. So it takes other dogs maybe a week older, already conceived a week before that one, um, so it's gotta play catch up. But if you focus on your dogs, you feed your dogs right now, they are gonna catch up the same way. The bloodline is there, um, and you get little, <clears throat> the little belly like these, and it stays full. So what they're gonna do right now is they're gonna finish eat, and when they're finished eating, um, when they're finished eating, then they're gonna take a little quick break. And when they take a quick break, then they're gonna do a break. <laughs> and then it's time to clean up again. Um, but making sure, man, these stay clean. Um, another thing is, while we got that being clean, as you can see on the dogs and all that kind of stuff here, um, and staying here, I am actually, I got the balls. So they are loving these balls as well too. So these balls, now I'm gonna be very honest with you. Do I recommend beginners starting off with these kind of balls? Absolutely not. Um, these balls are very fuzzy. Um, they'll get it and when these puppies are starting to play with it, they can do like these here. I really recommend the big dogs. And then for my bigger dogs, I really want the bigger ones because you don't want your dogs to swallow and choke. We got mosses over here in our yard. We don't have those little, you guys already know what we got. So we got bears in our yard. So this could slide down our dog's throat where if you have the, if you didn't buy a bucket kennel dog, your dog might be fine with this overall. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? But, but, um, but, but our dogs, I like this as our bigger dog. Um, Squeaky Toys does get their attention a lot. But with the smaller ones, I let them play with it. They hear the, they hear the, they hear the squeakiness in the, um, by the door. I got like five puppies out, five big dogs out right now. So, but with this here, um, let's see if but anyway, uh, little bumps balls. But with the puppies and them eating this, I like to have this. Um, what I'm gonna do with this is like what I did with the pig in the tree the ball of the tree, I'm going to have this just uh, putting a line across it and having them to where they can't actually grab it and chew on it. 
but they can play with it and the ball is bouncing back and forth where they can't actually grab it. So these are good for that. Um, unless you're there with your puppy and you're playing with them, but don't leave these in the dog's kennels and you walk away and then they're gonna play with it. Puppies tend to grab anything and swallow any and everything. You guys wanna chill out? Man, big dogs wanna come and play. But um, that's kind of a, the gif of this stuff, you know what I mean? That's pretty much it. Now, as we leave here, I'm gonna put this over here. Um, we're gonna walk toward the bigger puppies over here and let you guys see exactly um, what these dogs here. Now these are a younger litter. They're sleeping. You can go ahead and zoom in on them right here. Look at that, man. Tell me that's not a beautiful. Oh, oh, hold on. We're missing somebody. We're missing some. Gonna get them all in here. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That's a good W right there. Let's get some pictures here. Oh man, they're sleepy. Call them sleepy. Look at this little belly. The eyes just opened up, so they're like two weeks and some days old or whatever. But I want you guys to see just the quality of these puppies, man. I know people are like, man, these dogs look so big and huge, and it's time for them to get a little quick bath as well, too. Um, but I want you guys to see just what quality means, man. I'm I'm ecstatic. I'm really I'm really, I feel blessed. And we got so many, we got so much other stuff on the way. Um, so today, I'm gonna show a video. I'm gonna tell you about the video now before I actually do the video. The, the video today, I started making a video today because I was gonna go to the vet and do a, um, do a pregnancy test on all my dogs. Um, but instead, I decided to not do it and we're gonna do everything in house. So there will be no more videos of us going to the vet to check to see if <laughs> <laughs> to see if they're pregnant or not. Um, we're gonna be checking all of our dogs' um, pregnancy tests here in the house. We're gonna be doing all these different stuff here as well. So with that being that and said, um, I, feel, I, I feel really good about it. So right now, let's just cross fingers, pray that everything works out good. And I hope everybody's pregnant. Um, everybody on my list, you don't have to worry. If you're on my list, we will give you a call. We don't miss anybody. We've never missed anybody in 17 years. We're gonna give you guys a call. I love it when you guys are excited about what's to come. You guys are excited when you see these big, beautiful puppies laying here. But I promise you, we get to everyone. It's like a pregnancy. You're never pregnant forever. You may have to wait a while, get on that waiting list, but you're never gonna wait forever. Um, sometimes it feels like that way for Christmas. But, um, but nonetheless, um, also, you see me with my shoes on. My shoes are already clean and, and all that kind of stuff when you're talking about dealing with puppies and everything else. And now the pooping is going to start happening, like I told you guys. Once those belly get full and all that kind of stuff, um, we're going to go ahead through and start cleaning and everything else there as well. But nonetheless, man, just want to tell you guys, thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the feeding the puppies and, you know, the new area, the... The new improved area is even more. We're always improving more and more, man. Um, can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> Not with Won't stop. <laughs> you like that, don't you? you? Like those moves. I got the moves like Jagger. I got the. This is doing it. No. I don't know, you have to ask the kids. Look. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Let's have fun. Comment below what you guys think about the puppies, man. What do you think about the new kennel setup, the new everything? Um, you got some ideas of what you think about something? Drop them below. Let me know. You guys know, smash that thumbs up, like button, subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe. Thank you, guys. We are at 68,000 subscribers. Matter of fact, let me, let, me, let me give you guys the exact number because you guys are with your boy and you guys have been... Um, we at 68,310. So let's get it, man. Hopefully by this week we'll be at 70,000, right? This mm -hmm. week, 70,000 be watching. And then y'all guys know what we do. I'm not telling anybody to subscribe to get free stuff, but we're gonna be giving away a lot of free stuff when we start reaching new numbers. So, but I want you to subscribe because you like the channel, honestly. Um, 
and show support, man. Your support is just really by saying, hey, thumbs up is support for me. You know, commenting below um, where you guys are watching my videos from, which companies you like, the color of the puppy that may have stand, stood out to you guys as well. So they're using the bathroom. I gotta get back to work now because this is what I gotta deal with. See, you guys don't wanna deal with the food part. I gotta deal with the poop part. So I like that. Y'all saw the food, I gotta deal with the poop. But anyway, you guys be blessed, be good, man. We out, have a good day. Boom.